Hey everybody, this is uh, Pop Does Presents and I'm with Katie Costello. Yes. Um, so, you just have a, uh, an awesome new album called Twice the Love, which came out earlier this month. Exactly, exactly. Uh, first question, why not Chip of a Love? <laughs> we thought about Chip of a Love, um, but uh, tri Triple Love, um, but you know, no love was really appropriate other than Twice the Love. Felt like, just has a really nice ring to it. Yes, and then, okay, so, and what's the story behind the name then? You know, there's, there's kind of a secret meaning to, to me that's, you know, um, for the really, really deep cuts fans, and they might figure it out. So I would like to know if people do figure it out, but there's multiple meanings to it. Um, but one of the main themes of the album is is finding love, and not just, I don't mean romantic love, but um, love for yourself, love for your life, love for this planet, and being a part of doing something um, to, to help it. Um, so there's a bunch of different kinds of love that are kind of talked about on the album. So Twice the Love also felt very appropriate for that reason. That's, so. that's awesome, and there's also, not just the name, but there's like a pretty cool story behind making the album, right? Am I yeah. I had read on the internet, so you know it's true, that um, <laughs> it's true. that you had recorded every song was like in a different city. Yeah. Um, Were you on the run? For did you? <laughs> <laughs> is everything all right? You know, thankfully, I'm really happy to report that I'm not running from the law yet. The law is running from you. Um, that that's what they say. That's what that's they. That's the say. next album. <laughs> that is the next album. How Double you, the crime. How did you know? <laughs> I'm just. Okay, absolutely saving that. Just downloaded it. Um, but um, yeah, basically this album, unlike my other albums, um, where I wrote the songs first before going into the studio and I worked with one producer for all my other releases, um, this album I went about it differently. I actually traveled to different cities, wrote with and collaborated with different songwriter producers. And so for that reason, everything kind of has a, a different feel and a different vibe that I think also reflects the city that it's that it was made in, um, but it's, you know, it's linked by, again, these themes and, and, um, and different sounds I think you can kind of hear throughout the record, you know, different aesthetics that I like. That's, that's beautiful. Um, and speaking of cities that we're in, we are in New York City right now, and I believe yes, you are yes. Brooklyn-based? Exactly, yes. I, uh, I've been here, I'm, I'm a, a California native, transplanted to the East Coast. And I've been here for about eight years now, so uh, it's, it's official. So yeah, so you you have a, a song, is it New York Graffiti? Exactly. Right? Is that sort of like a, a love song to New York, or how do you feel about that? That is really nice. I really like that. Actually, one of the aspects of the song is, is definitely, you could say that, it's definitely a love song um, for New York. You know, New York has been a place where I've, um, I've been very inspired creatively and um, when I was walking to the studio one day I, I saw you know all this graffiti artwork and I, I, was, I started kind of humming this melody and I felt like you know just like I'm seeing this graffiti artwork I feel like I really want a song that like captures that sentiment of like just wanting to put it all out there put it up on a wall colors and everything it's on every street corner you know so the sentiment is very much, you know, kind of using New York as a, a place to feel um, completely alive, completely yourself. That's that's awesome. Um, yeah, no, I mean, and, and the song is excellent. Are you going to be playing it today? I am. Maybe? Ooh. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I mean, at first, you know, I thought, I thought this is going to be like a PSA about how graffiti is vandalism. And <laughs> we got to, we got to, we got to get rid of it, folks, hey, you know? But we'll save that for double the crime, I guess. That, you know... With the song, Get Off My Damn Lawn, <laughs> You Teenagers. It, it'll be in parentheses, You Teenagers. Because the hook will be like, You Teenagers. You oh, teenagers. get off my lawn. Yeah. That's not cool. Why'd you put that graffiti there? Yeah. Or something. Exactly. I don't yeah. know. I don't or, know. You know, know. Et cetera. Honestly, it's... 
for the listener to decide <laughs> what the teenagers did wrong. That's true. We never explicitly say it. You just know that just we're being upset teenagers about their youth. Is... <laughs> and the way things are just different now. And they don't get it. You know? I think we can all agree that they don't get it, you know? And things are different. That is... And think, speaking of things that are not different, our hair. What is going on here? You know what's so funny is I almost said that as soon as I met you, but then I was like, no, hold it in. Uh, just meet him first. And then say, yeah. second, that's, we have the same hairstyle. But I almost said it first. That's oh incredible restraint. I'm really, I'm really bad at, at that. Oh my god, you're right. I, what? Yeah. You're so right. <laughs> For people hearing a voice saying that we're right, that is God. No, um, that was God sorry. who was watching and he said that same style. Same style. Everything. And so, I, yeah, I don't know what that means for, for our futures, but I think, you know. Have you ever heard of um, convergent evolution? Um, I have not, but I sure as hell don't believe in it. <laughs> immediately. Go well, ahead. you know, I just mean to say that, you know, brilliant minds think alike. Ah. Yeah, so. What about not brilliant minds? Do they also think alike, but in a different way? You know, I think, unfortunately, at, um. Divergent evolution. That seems to be the case as well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, right? Indeed. Yeah. Ooh, political undertones. Yeah, it's true. You're and we're in. not talking about yeah. our president or anything. Yeah, we're not. Talking. But he was just yeah. the first person that came to my mind, and I didn't mean to say that, but it was just sure. like, as yep. soon as I thought of, like, someone who's yep. not smart. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, so, you are playing Rockwood Music Hall this Saturday? Exactly. I am playing uh, Rockwood Music Hall Stage 1 on uh, this Saturday, October 21st, 9 p.m. I'm playing with my band. I'm very excited because, you know, today I'm going to be playing solo, which I, I love doing, but it's, it's very fun to play with with my band, so, you know, it'll be a very fun night. And for the people that, you know, are definitely going to the show, for them, there's a, uh, you know, they're gonna get the band experience. What about it, the energy and things are different than sort of the intimate acoustic setup that you have today? You know, um, when I wrote these songs, um, a lot of them started on an acoustic guitar um, or a piano. Um, and I wanted the songs to stand on their own without the record. You know, sometimes yeah. the record is so exciting, but really if you played that thing on a piano, it would sound like, you know, perhaps the same line over and over again. Um, which, hey, you know, there's always a time and place for that too. But, um, you know, the, the band definitely captures the sound of the record in a way that is really fun and naturally playing with other people. You know, you always bounce off other people's energy. And so, you know, you can expect definitely a, a, a different vibe, a different, uh, different blanket of sound, if you will. Ah, I will. <laughs> I will. Um, and for, you know, this is the new project that, that you've put out, um, but there's a pretty expansive discography for the, for the, the hardcore Katie Costello fans out there. I like the... I believe you have an EP, a uh, Kaleidoscope Machine? Uh, actually, it's my first LP. My yeah, first album. Yeah, your first LP. Yes, yeah. That's a, that's a really cool name, I'm just going to say. Thank you right? so much, thank you. And I'd also like to point out that your name is alliterative. Katie Costello. I'm Brent Butler. Oh! There's more than meets the eye. It also meets the ear. And it with the alliteration feels nice yeah it feels like we're uh we're <laughs> converging in our evolution does that make sense to you have you heard of convergent I, evolution you know I, something a friend told me about <laughs> recently and she reminded me a lot of myself this I, is pop dust <laughs> presents ladies and gentlemen so we're gonna we're gonna do a, a a live music portion um momentarily but first Maybe you want to tell everybody where they can find your music and connect with you on Definitely. the interweb? Definitely. Well, you know, I'm all over the internet, pretty much on every site that you can think about. Um, but my albums are available on iTunes, on Spotify, Amazon, Google Play, uh, Apple Music. And you can also buy, um, believe it or not, I have CDs for sale 
on my website. What? I know they're physical CDs. You you put them in a machine and and yeah. So anyways, um, a machine. You put them in a machine. Um, a kaleidoscope machine. <laughs> you Woo! <laughs> that was exactly why I wrote that album too. Um, really? To describe that process. So I I um I have. Physical albums for sale as well on my website, which is katiecostellomusic.com, and it's Katie with an I E and Costello, um, like you know all the famous Costellos. We, we have your website in the comments. Oh great! Look well, at so that. You can click there. Here, here's the thing too that we, we like to do is um you know we're gonna play some songs right but Absolutely. then um we're gonna ask your fans to ask some questions oh. so uh, you know please yes. ask your fans like you know hey come 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 listen to some questions and then hopefully uh, some people will respond uh, while, you know after you play so, that's awesome so hopefully it'll work well, and but, but, yeah so people and people watching you can text your vote for the winner of this conversation. <laughs> Um, now, yeah, it's, for for it's Brent, kind of close one. Um, you know, you text, text Brent to uh, five five three, three two, two one, one. <laughs> <laughs> and if if you vote for me, text yes yes to five five, five three, three two two. two. So, kind of like American Idol, that was nice. Yeah. The yeah. number changed. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, I think one last thing that I wanted to point out um, about, about some, of our, uh, some of our convergence, um, I, had, I had, you know, I was perusing yes. the, the library. Oh, I love the I library. And read, I read in there that when you were really young and really getting into music, you were super duper into the Beatles and that sort of led into punk, right? And that's kind of exactly my story as well, so... Really? That's yeah. so beautiful. It's a nice journey. It is. It's... Um, yes, that's and then, true. Um, and we're about to hear you sing, but I, I think that people have noted, you know, they can tell an influence of like Fiona Apple, and uh, like Regina Spector and other things. So I'm really excited to hear it. Thank you so much. Thank you. So yeah, everybody stick around for some live music from Katie Costello. Everybody at home, another round of applause for Katie Costello. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, wow. Yeah, that was uh, oh. my, uh, mind boggling. <laughs> and so the camera just gravitates to you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, Actually, it was all over her, man. It was like cutting you out, so I had to get pretty nice <laughs> in there. <laughs> so we got You're to... very modest. You're very modest. Wow. I am known for that. <laughs> My modesty. A lot of people talk about it. I mean... I've heard... Yeah, no, I've, I've heard. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure you've heard yeah. about me. I... But <laughs> speaking of you, I guess, um, <laughs> we just got to hear <laughs> two of your songs. Um, that we got to hear the New York Graffiti, um, yes, which yes. was beautiful, and then also Holiday, yes, which was yeah. really cool. Um, you said that both of those songs were written in Brooklyn, and, and you, you talked a bit about them and how, you know, the story of the production with, what was the producer's name again? Uh, Justin Pilbrow. Justin. Justin, you're out there somewhere. Yep. Um, so, <laughs> oh yeah, he's, that's, a, that's a factual he's, statement. He's, yeah, that, <laughs> It just, you know, it was the only fact that came to mind. Yeah. Um, well, so are there any more facts about those songs that come to mind? Um, you know, uh, I had mentioned to you that, you know, this, this song, or rather this album, um, the theme of love comes up in different ways. And Holiday, you know, at first glance, you know, it might not sound like a love song, which I certainly wouldn't call it one, but, um, but there is an element of, of, of love there because um, the song is very much about uh, your relationship with yourself and you know with, with your mind and how it's uh, it's very easy to run away from yourself in pursuit of many things when you know deep down inside you know there's fear and there's uncertainty and 
sometimes desperation too. And uh, so it's it's not an easy emotion to capture, but I I feel grateful that um, that that song um, I feel very much poured out, and so I feel very happy. I always feel very happy performing it because yeah. it feels like one of those songs that kind of just came out, and every single time I play it, it feels, uh, I feel very connected to Therapeutic it. Therapeutic almost. It's Certainly, definitely. I think music is is therapy, for sure. Absolutely. For the songwriter, for the listener, for for everybody. Um, yeah, no, that's, that's great. And um, would you ever consider doing like a, a mashup with Weezer, like Holiday in the Sun? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what's so funny is that I, I am such a fan of that song, so much so that Reason? I have I have indeed covered. Ah, <laughs> oh, you guys, come uh, calm down. Right, you know, I know what that means though. I know what it means for Brand. Brand for Brand. Brand. He's not even sure of mine. I'm from New Jersey. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just a, I'm just a huge fan. But what, I mean, what oh, do you yeah. like about it? Like structurally or. Oh, you know that's that's a kind of song that. Um, or just rivers in general and. You know, they have a lot of songs I feel like are kind of like, uh, uh, they have a mellow vibe, but the lyric is quite, you know, intense. Yeah. And I love that. I think their sound is very cool. I love Even that song. Even on the Blue album, the song Heartbeat, where it's like, Let's go away for a while, you and I, to a strange and distant land. Yeah. You know? That was beautiful. They could both was, Yeah. I mean, well, hold up, because your voice is insane. <laughs> Your voice is insane. How did how did you get it there? Or were you born born with I, with that? Or? I came out of the womb and I was just like, ah! yeah, ah! <laughs> this is crazy. No, I'm, um, I'm a baby, I'm a and I'm singing all kinds of things. <laughs> yeah, no, um, um, it's you know I I will say that I did sing from a young age. Um, so you can say that was some you know. That was some right out of the womb kind of action right there, but um, I did I did take voice lessons, and um, there's a lot of things you know in the in my experience with uh, learning about the voice that have definitely helped me a lot. And what are some tips you could give to um, me or other people that are watching that that you know are aspiring singers like yourself? Beautiful. Well, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to take up the whole time, you know, with my uh, my vocal tips. Let me tell you. But um, I will say that um, it is. Um, well, first of all, singing is very psychological. So, uh, you know, how should I say this? You know, you have to sing from the heart, and if you don't, don't sing. Ooh. Um. You can sing for fun too, but I feel like even that singing for fun should still be from the heart because there's something conveyed in the voice when you feel it. Um, the other thing is just breathing. It's just you have to you have to remember to breathe. <laughs> I'm always bad at that. And like <laughs> stretching like, and stuff too. That is the hardest part. That's why it's like it's good. Breathing. I guess going to like yoga and stuff. They're constantly reminding you to breathe. And, it's true. And every yeah. time I'm like, damn it, I wasn't. Why, <laughs> right? do I, why does this keep happening? <laughs> Like, I mean, like, what the? Heck? You're like, how did they? I, yeah. I wasn't breathing. But it's true, you know, when you're on your computer, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh my god, am I dead? I haven't been breathing for like five minutes. Like, what is going? <laughs> like, you know, it's you have the computer breath. So, so <laughs> what I'm saying is that uh, it's true. It's true. It's computer a thing. Computer breath. It's like suddenly you're like, I haven't, I haven't just, I haven't been breathing for ten or fifteen minutes. Like, I like oh, computer my. breath. That kind of that could be a song. It so reminds I, me of being made fun of for being a nerd in high school. It's like, yeah, your computer breath. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Oh my gosh! Yeah. If someone called you that, that is terrible. It, that's true because I didn't have a that computer. Wasn't, <laughs> you know, it was it's like, like your breath you know. isn't like yeah electronically. No, yeah. I mean, listen. Conveying anything right now? Sure. Did I kiss my computer for practice? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe, but that's like but, you know, I mean, not related. You can't, no, no. you can't tell it on your breath. No, absolutely not. Yeah. I mean, and that's that's the main. main and that's singularity. I think. <laughs> Have you heard of convergent evolution? <laughs> it's divergent evolution. All right, I wrote it on the comments. Divergent. Oh, it's divergent. Ooh. Let's see. Oh, Twelve monkeys. Oh my God. Terry Gilliam. Oh. Are you divergent? <laughs> If you're just tuning in, that was God. Uh, no, yes. It's Dan Victor. Get it right. 
<laughs> I'm gonna be on board. Oh, Terry Crowder. Yeah, wow, wow, yeah. No, he's fact checking us, keeping us honest. <laughs> that, I appreciate that's true. that. No, it's important to have that. It's, it's true. important to have that. So it's it, genuine. It's, 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 it's trending. Me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's trending. I think Terry likes it too. It's trending. Um, yes, but it's true. Um, and and yoga is something that really I think does help singing a lot, actually. So you're you're you know even though you're not breathing, you know that's you're on to something there. <laughs> I'm on. Yeah, yeah death. <laughs> that whole not breathing thing. You're on to. I think you're on to something there, kiddo. No, I mean that that you notice that yoga helps you. You know, oh, it, it helps you yes. cultivate a breath that you you can use to singing. sing from yeah. the heart and breathing. And breathe. Um. No, that's that's great advice. And I guess for the people that you know, if they're songwriters who hear your stuff and they're they're hoping that they can create something and have that real cathartic experience but maybe they don't have producers or things like that what sort of advice might you give to those um looking to do what you do that's i think a really great question um i my intention with the album that i just made is that um as i mentioned earlier that that every song um, can stand on its own without the production. Um, a lot of times, um, actually, production um, tools like on, say, even even something like GarageBand, um, you can make something quite easily there, and you can spend you can get really uh, you can spend all day on programs uh, creating tracks, and I think that's really valuable. Um, it's a really wonderful skill, but um, I would say for aspiring artists and songwriters you know, writing a song at a piano or a guitar and really refining the lyric and the melody and the harmony in a way that, that can stand powerfully on its own without anything. Once you produce that thing, it's going to sound even more amazing. Yeah. So I think, the, I think people who actually, you know, don't have, uh, you know, production at their fingertips um, sometimes there's a benefit there because you can really focus on the song. And what if they don't know what to write? You know, it's really, you always have to write about how you feel, what you're going through. You know, a lot of times, um, you know, I, I, as a songwriter, I've been in uh, writing sessions where I've written for other projects that aren't my own. And sometimes people kind of go into those things like, Let's write about love. Let's include the word feather, rainbow, and a uh, beautiful heart. And we're gonna write a song. And it's like you know, I think that those things can be helpful. I love that voice that you just put on. Do <laughs> you, you do like character stuff? Oh. Yeah. You know, triple uh, threat, <laughs> double the love, triple the threat, and <laughs> you can use that if you need. Thank you. So I was just gonna ask you that. Thank I know. you. I <laughs> Thank knew, you. That I, was I knew. that even that, I know. I that know. was perfect. Thank you. <laughs> but yes, they have that voice when they say that. Um, no, but um, but you know, as a songwriter, sometimes you're prompted to write about things. I think that can be helpful. But I just think that songwriting it has to be genuine. So until you feel inspired, I think that's really you know what you write about should be what inspires you, what is natural to you to to want to communicate to other people or yourself. And um, I guess what is sort of like in the future for you now? I've, I've heard maybe more tour dates supporting the, the album and kind of looking into that, should people expect, are you already writing for another album or what, what happens now? Thank you. Um, well. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be playing at Rockwood Music Hall in New York City this Saturday, October 21st, 9 p.m. Um, after that, it's it's in the works. Tour dates are in the works. Um, so please always stay tuned on my website, on my social media. I announce it, but um, my tour dates are always listed on my website, and uh, that will be you know stay tuned for that. Yes, but um, in terms of writing, um, I I feel grateful that I'm, I'm always always writing things a lot of things you know don't make make the album but um but i i do have a couple of tracks that i think um will come out someday soon potentially any like wish list collab collaborators oh. or like 
people out there because we had you know a lot of celebrities and you know industry folk watch this show. So, I mean, first of all, Weezer. I mean, I know you guys are watching. Yeah, no, Rivers, Rivers is watching. He, you got to do. He's definitely. Let's watching. consider it. He always watches. Do you know what's so funny is actually when I met Rivers Cuomo, wait, he was wearing the same sweatshirt as me, and it was like this thing where I was like, hey, oh, okay, so same sweatshirt, okay, hey, nice to meet you, and I think I said, see, I didn't even, I learned from that situation because I said, oh, we're wearing the same sweatshirt before I introduced myself. The nice to meet you. See, so so that's how I learned how to do that. Wow. But um, we didn't talk about. You know, but but collaboration wise, um, I would love to collaborate with Mick Jagger. Mick, hey, Mick. Hey, Mick, come on, <laughs> Mick, come on. Honestly, I mean, yeah, I mean, he's really. Yeah, he's the shit. I mean, can I say that? Oops, I don't. Yeah, know. no, it's the internet. Um, okay. Let's uh, say whatever. Like. Oh. I encourage you to curse. I encourage you to curse. Motherfucker. Yeah. All right? Computer. Motherfucker is the best you word want. ever for television. Better call up. Yeah, no, it is. Yeah. Motherfucker is the best word for right. yeah. But Okay, I'll, I'll eliminate right. it at that one. So, but, um, so Mick. All right, all right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, don't keep going on with the curse words. But um, no, um, Mick Jagger is a... Uh, he's somebody that I, I respect and admire so much. I think he's such a... Inspiration. He's always reinventing himself. He's always fresh and unstoppable. He is. I like yeah. Call him the Jagger knot. That's <laughs> not a thing. <laughs> they do. All right. So Mick Jagger, Rivers, and um, you know I. I'm not sure why I'm forcing you to name three. <laughs> but um, that's what we got ourselves into. Yeah. Just sort let's of rhythmically see. here. Let's see. Uh, can't really think of anyone else at the moment. Oh, really? <laughs> Maybe he's sitting right next to you this oh, whole time. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am. Yeah, Twilight is in there. Should we do already have that? <laughs> you already have one? We already have, we, we already have the same hair. So yeah. it's like we've already collaborated. Exactly. Like fashion wise. And I already do your stunts in yeah. music videos and I'm a stunt double. That's a lot true. of people don't know that. That's true, yeah. New York Graffiti I just released a music video, New York Graffiti. Exactly. Uh, and uh, no. you're and you and you're the stunt double. It's true. They're yeah. like in this part you fall off the Brooklyn Bridge. Get Brent. <laughs> just just hurl him off. See what happens. But it happens so fast in the video I that know. like you might not you, see it. You but might like, not even, honestly, yeah, did it get edited out completely? I think so, but it didn't. It, but, it just happens really fast. And, yeah. yeah, I mean, it, it was it worth the physical trauma or yeah. any of those things? No, but I mean, look back. But this is back, what you do for you know for yeah, for. I, uh, this is what you do for love. Yeah, for twice our, the love. Twice and twice. <laughs> you know, exactly. love me once, shame on me. Love me the, twice. Wait, Shame. Shame on Shame. us. There's a, there's a saying. Yeah, yeah. There's a saying down in Texas. <laughs> love, love, love me. <laughs> Point is, you love me. I'm not gonna get loved again, or something like that. Hey, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm making like 2004 oh references up in here. You it's know? true. It's true. We can't help it. Um, well, thank you, Katie Costello, for um, <clears throat> doubling our love. And that was the wish. Um, spreading and sharing your music and also mm -hmm. your tips to uh, to all the musicians out there. Thank you. And uh, yeah, so thank you so much. Thank you. Everybody thank you for tuning in to Pop This Presents. Yes.